Switching gears here, in less than three hours, Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh will face off against his accuser, as both are expected to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Now, the two will be cross-examined by a special sex crime prosecutor brought in by Senate Judiciary Republicans. News 13's Sarah Yingling joins us now with a look ahead. Sarah? Well, David, officials are calling it one of the most dramatic days in President Trump's term so far. Christine Blasey Ford is set to testify first. She's requested Kavanaugh not be present for her testimony, but the president says he will be watching. I could be persuaded also, and they know it's a big, fat con job. Arizona prosecutor Rachel Mitchell will question Ford and Kavanaugh on behalf of Republicans. The 11 Republican men on the committee are expected to have Mitchell do most, if not all, of the questioning. Democrats will ask their own questions. They're expected to press Kavanaugh on his history of drinking and behavior as a teenager. Both parties are speaking out about the hearing today. Or as if she were my daughter, but I'd like to see Judge Kavanaugh treated as if he were my son. Why are my Republican colleagues hiding? In testimony released ahead of the hearing, Ford says she, quote, believed he was going to rape her, claiming Kavanaugh put his hand over her mouth to stop her from screaming. In his prepared remarks, Kavanaugh says he, quote, never did anything remotely resembling what Dr. Ford describes. The testimony comes as new claims against Kavanaugh surface. Yesterday, 55-year-old Julie Swetnick came forward alleging that in high school, Kavanaugh would drink excessively and engage in abusive and physically aggressive behavior towards girls at parties. She says he, she was possibly drugged, then raped at one of the parties, and said Kavanaugh was there, but did not directly accuse him of rape. Kavanaugh says he, the allegations is, quote, from the twilight zone, and it never happened. The Senate Judiciary Committee's chief nomination officers had offered an interview between committee investigators and Swetnick. Back to you. All right, thanks, Sarah. The, yesterday, the Senate Judiciary Committee released transcripts that showed two more claims of sexual assault, but both are anonymous. Kavanaugh denied those allegations as well.